love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our living Prince of Peace who has sent his kingdom age peace unto mankind so that 1,000 years of peace can now come. Um, I read from dedication of the dub, which is uh, a work of explaining the dedication that I've had to penning the absolute true word of love. Spiritually speaking, there is no blacker blackness than the sleeping people of God's non-existent desires to conquer their lack of knowledge about him, which shall destroy many of them because they don't understand his love. And without understanding his love, bitterness sets in and hatefulness sets in. So let all soul winners now rise and shine under the most glorious glow of our eternal son of love, uh, the son of holiness, who arises just as Isaiah 60 foretold. And he, he welcomes these prophesied days of the rise of his message that was foreseen by Daniel of the latter uh, days um, in the lion's den in the Daniel 12. And that was foreseen days of the Lord's final harvest of Revelation 14, the everlasting gospel. These are those days. Therefore, this greatly needed word of faith is for blessed souls with eyes to see and uh, ears to hear that a brand new world of passionate hopes blazes away brightly uh, within the messages of these videos. But those of blinded uh, uh, eyes and deaf ears not wanting to go through fiery new uh, ideas about the Lord's deepest devotions wouldn't even have to bother uh, to have anyone to, to uh, open up this message to them because in spite of God's dazzling uh, uh, word of peace herein that he's offering mankind they, they will never be able to see that it's a big peek into the exciting future of awesome. Uh, the religiosity of men, the bad aspects of religion must die. And if they don't die, it's going to die anyways hard. And anyone who foolishly pushes away th this word of uh, Allah's highest praises, Elohim, Jehovah Nisi, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, whatever you want to call him, he is love. Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. Everyone pushing away such words of hope are but cracked wells without any new living waters, stagnant. For such lukewarm apostates would never want to explore the imagined depths of the Lord's passion of love that even split time asunder. Understand also that it's only by God's grace alone that such carnal souls who enjoys ignorance's supposed sweetness could even be spared from the outer limits of the very worst kind of gross darkness, which is no longer just reserved for shadowy types of lukewarm souls who foolishly tricks their unenlightened minds into believing that their final destination won't be hot if their love light is off, because then they commit the unforgivable sin and they would perish everlastingly but not by God's judgment he has given his decree and his decree to all people with their love light on he says I forgive your iniquity and I shall remember it no more Jeremiah 31 verse uh, 33 to 35 this is his kingdom age new covenant and he says to everyone that now no one needs to be taught anymore about him from the least to the greatest will know him even if fish don't know they're in water it's the life that gives them uh, the life force that gives them life and the same way love is our father and love gives us life and now there's a, a new spiritual weapon, the sickle of God from uh, Revelation 14. And he has put it into the earth to reap the earth. And now the harvest begins. This 
good news has also been consecrated by he who is the righteous, the holy, and the hallowed one, and it is destined to become his sharp sickle of his Holy Spirit, which could be used during his great white harvest over any of uh, his children who desire love. And this faith-provoking uh, word of love is dedicated into being a priceless uh, inheritance for all people of love, which lovingly teaches that the Lord's elect are but joyful gardeners who always do their best at rooting out vice and planting seeds of godly virtue wheresoever they may go during all the seasons of their lives. And because of that truth, uh, the following words from all of my videos about our real love's worship. His name is Elohim, Adonai, Allah, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, whatever you want to call him. And it is, it is put forth with a very special godly kind of love that always grows within any yielded people of light so their beauty may sprout and come forth as a cornstalk to stand real tall and most proud. Adoration of God is like a seed. It grows people. And our living adoration is the most notable attractiveness of growing souls, for a real beauty is always born upon the wings of his love, and that's why I've done my absolute best in presenting the greatest uh, word of love about our Redeemer, Savior, King, ever penned, bar none. And they who behold and hear the words of my dove of love, and if they, uh, as soon as they hear it, uh, if, if those push it away, God says they're lukewarm. He wants to just barf them out of his mouth. Such are lukewarm that he would spit into some chunky barf, exactly as it's written. Thus saith the Lord. People, now is the time to come alive. Uh, let the wise know that uh, there are none so blind as those who refuses to believe in uh, the clear heaven-sent truth herein. Elohim also says that the words of these videos come from his flying scroll of his most perfect will, uh, exactly as Zechariah foretold and foresaw. For the words of these writings will fill anyone with his greatest might and divine majesty as his spirit of love speaks to their hearts. This word of love will additionally bring anyone searching for the utmost truth divine to the holy place where the heart shall be swiftly filled up with the utmost awe. For I am he who shall increase, saith the Lord, my people's longing for these words in order to multiply their delight so it will become as the abundant rain. It is time to let the rain of love rain down upon our hearts. For if we cannot love our brothers who we can see, we cannot love a God whom we cannot. Time to love people. Pass, pass the ammunition. And the ammunition are my videos that will keep coming like a factory. And it, it, love has decreed it. And his roar lo roars louder out of Zion than anyone ever could have imagined. And he says that the word of Romans 11 has been fulfilled. And in these days of the fullness of Gentiles, all Israel is saved because of the covenant that he made with them and all mankind. Jeremiah 32, 27. Blessings until next time, beloved.